Okay, here's something a little different that I did just for fun. I made a really, really simple motor, electric DC motor, homemade, using uh, no solder except for where I connected these little wires here. No circuit board, there's no glue, and there's no machine screws or anything. It's just put together with this foam sticky tape stuff, two-sided sticky tape. And the make and break on the top and the bottom uh, happens on a darning needle. And I'm calling this the darning needle motor. And you can see how this is set up. It's just a, uh, a darning needle where the eye of the needle hits a wire at just the right time and energizes the circuit, energizes the coil, which pushes the magnet rotor around. And this is a... Uh, 2nd of March 2016 on lid motor and I'm calling this the darning needle motor and what I'm using here is a couple of jar lids uh, this is the rotor jar lid and then under there is another jar lid that has a hole in it big enough to support the uh, needle and then the bottom of that little bottle is a hole and then underneath that is a piece of copper strip with the other wire just taped on it and as that rotor spins around, the eye of that needle hits this wire, makes the circuit, goes around and around, and the rotor rotates. And like I say, the only reason I'm really showing this video is I'm always looking for simple motor ideas, and they've always fascinated me. These little, uh, probably elementary school type of electric DC motors that are easy to make without much knowledge or very many tools that you can make out of stuff you find around the house pretty much. You'd have to get the magnet wire and that's a sewing machine bobbin but uh, you can get the magnet wire at Radio Shack if you have a Radio Shack or you can order it online. Um, the darning needle of course you get it at any, any uh, store that carries these big long darning needles and then this is just a plastic uh, pill bottle. You can get that from anything. And then uh, the magnets, you have to get these neodymium magnets. But on the magnets, I'm not gluing these magnets on. What I've got is another magnet inside the lid that's just attracted to the other side of that magnet. So these magnets aren't even glued on the lid. And then the uh, battery is a uh, AA battery. And you could probably just tape the wires on the edge of it. But this is a battery holder I got at the Radio Shack also. But anyway, that was kind of a fun little uh, project. See if I could get this to work with the simple idea of not using any glue and put a structure together with no glue and get it to work. And this is um, the uh, darning needle that goes through that jar lid. And then the magnets are just holding each other on with the traction. And there's four magnets, and you'll have to hunt around to find these neodymium magnets. But uh, they're just held on with attraction, and if you don't speed the motor up, they don't fly off. Plus, you can move them around on the rotor so that you get your make and break at the right point. And you can see the eye of the needle there, and if the wire hits the uh, edge of that wire, I mean the uh, edge of the needle and uh, eye, and makes the make and break, and the bottom... Uh, contacts this uh, copper strip there for the other part of the contact so anyway I just wanted to share that with people that uh, you can make one of these little uh, homemade uh, science fair project kind of motors uh, with stuff around the house pretty much and then a few part, parts you could find either online or you could uh, go to the radio shack and get them and then it's held together with this uh, double sided foam tape uh, this wood here, you can get at a craft store or pretty much anything you had around the house. Now, I was running this with a lash up using just boxes, but you'd have to have this part here. But you put a hole in the top of that. Um, you, can, you can just shove the needle through there and wiggle it around to make it big enough so that you have enough clearance. And then the bottom hole has to be big enough so the needle doesn't uh, rub at the bottom and it has to contact this strip but anyway that's my um, darning needle motor thanks for watching